All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, yo, the mayoral battle went down last night, and uh, you know we had we had some interesting results or what have you. I like the format that they did this time, man. We're gonna talk about that. Also, we're gonna talk about the 2K with the best dribbling. Let me know which 2K you feel like had the best dribbling of all of all of them all from 15 up to now. Um. And we also going to talk about how last 2K is always the best 2K and all of that good stuff like that, man. So, look, if you don't do nothing else, make sure y'all like the video because it helps us get to that oh so coveted uh, 100K. And, uh, you know, man, let's, let's just get right into it. There ain't even a whole lot else to get into. Lido! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pipes, that shit made me a savage. Start hustling nonstop, don't plan on breaking that habit. All right, man, so last night, Drew take flight, and your boy, my boy, my boy, buddy boy, they were able to um, secure for the Vipers. Look at this, man, NBA store reward, man, but like, you can't even get none of the jerseys and stuff. Listen, 2K, a couple of things I'm going to need y'all to stop doing. Stop giving me two Gatorade. Stop giving me two boosts per category. Stop giving me these items, and then when you go in the store, you can't even really buy what, what you want to buy with it. Like, I might want to go in there and get where... You can get all the shoes you want, but you know what I'm talking about, the higher price stuff. Why can I win a store item but something that costs, like, the whole point to me of winning a store item is so I can get something that costs, like, that 30 grand or something like that, and then I don't, you know what I'm saying, I can get one of those items I don't have to pay for. That way somebody will be excited about that. Not, not what y'all doing right here. You can't get something that exceeds, like, five or six. But anyway, that ain't the point, man. Check it out. Last night, the guy, Drew Take Flight, and Buddy Boy, they were able to bring it home for the South City Vipers, man. And check it out. We got the new uh, the new park. Uh, not new park, but just the new courts and stuff like that. I was definitely afraid of getting new courts. And let me tell you why. Because I felt like we had the hardest courts and the hardest park uh, in the whole thing. Let me know down below who do y'all think got the hardest park, man. And the reason I'm saying I thought we had the best park was because the be we had the best layout. You can go from place to place. You can play on any courts. You don't have to worry about falling off something. You don't have to worry about getting trapped down in a cavern or whatever like that. Like, it just felt like this part just flows more. And it was uh, the way that they put it together. It was just nice. Not even going to lie to you. Um, I was afraid of getting the new, the new courts and stuff. Let me tell you why. And y'all going to see me hop on the new courts right now. But the reason I was afraid of getting the new courts is because... I felt like, I was like, yo, we gonna get these new courts and then you're not gonna be able to see and stuff like that because you know you go to the other ones and they're like white and 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 they got the hardwood. It's hard to see out there, but I can't lie. I am pleasantly, I'm present, I can't even talk right now. I'm pleasantly surprised. And the reason I'm pleasantly surprised is because I'm like, yo, we are actually able to see uh, on the courts and it looks it looks pretty good I don't know what it's gonna look like when those shadows hit the court or when it gets dark But uh on the courts that I play on this doesn't seem like it's much of a difference So we actually got some courts, uh, you know, congratulations to the South City Vipers Congratulations to the uh, mayor Drew take flight one of the first the, the first guy to be able to uh, bring these joints home And uh, I don't know if it had more to do with his actual skill But he's nice not gonna lie to you or the new format that they got instead of pitting two mayors against the other two mayors. This is what they did this time. They gave each person a player from their uh, from their affiliation. So this time they had uh, they had the Make-A-Wish uh, kids or what have you, right? And what they did was they took a Make-A-Wish kid from each affiliation, paired them up, and then, you know, they played, they played like a, a knockout format. And then the last game, uh, the finals, that was best out of three. And so Drew Take Flight and Buddy, uh, you know, they were able to do it, man. They they they, they beat everybody. Not going to lie. Now I ain't going to lie. Buddy, my homeboy, so you know what I'm talking about. I'm just going to talk him up a little bit anyway. I think that Buddy is the best Make-A-Wish kid out there. I ain't going to lie to y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? I think he the best, man. But it could be because he's from the South Side, the South City Vipers. He ran for mayor, did not make the mayor. Uh, he didn't make it as mayor. But I'm glad that he was able to be involved in getting us uh, these courts. Now, what I wanted to do is I wanted to go show, like, the twos course is hard. I'm not going to lie. But the, I wanted to make sure that these courts were pretty good, too. And uh, like I said, even with some of the shadowing and all that good stuff, man, it still seems like they're really good courts. They are, they, they're functional. And it's not like you're going to get lost 
in the court, on the court, or anything like that. So I, I think it's gonna be fine. I don't think we're gonna have too much, too many issues or what have you. Like the biggest thing is you might not be able to see your greens because when you're shooting them greens, you're shooting them greens on green, that green on green, that that that, 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 that green on green, that, that that. Hey, but you know, it is what it is. We're gonna see how it goes, man. And then you see this other dude pull up and try to lock me into the court. I'm not, I'm not having it. I gotta get up out of there. I gotta get up out of there, man. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think about the new courts. Who got the hardest courts? And uh, I think even now, we still got the hardest courts, uh, but definitely the best layout. So tell me who you think got the best layout and who you think got the hardest courts. I really wish that we could have kept the little gray courts and it, it could have just put some graffiti on it or what have you. Because I think that the little gray court blacktop is cool, but if we couldn't, excuse me, if we could have, hey, man, why am I yawning? Ah, if we couldn't have that. Then I ain't editing it out either. I don't care. If I should have edited it out, y'all let me know. Um, if we couldn't have that, then this is probably the next best thing. So I'm not even going. Mean, I ain't gonna trip, man. It is what it is. Up next, man. Check it out. Boom. Oh, wrong button. Well, I'm out of practice. All right, so check it out. Up next, we got uh, NBA 2K leaks and intel and all this stuff saying that um, dribbling on this game looks so smooth. This is what I tell people about. This 2K uh, look like 2K16. If I'm not mistaken, um, this is what I always nah. This ain't 2K16. This is 2K17. Uh, no, oh, it's this 16. Oh no 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 no. This is definitely 16. This is this is when you can tell that it's 16 right here when he takes this shot. That's what I was saying because you know 16, 17 look so look look very similar. But once he took this shot right here, I knew that it was 16. That right there because of the shot meter. Anyway. Um, some people gonna probably say I can tell it was 16 right off the bat. I ain't gonna lie to y'all I wasn't even looking that close at it. So so I, I I really didn't know but um, yeah when he dunked it I could tell too. Anyway, the whole point of the thing is Everybody always feels like the last 2k is the best 2k man. It's just it's just that simple uh, the past any past 2k's so Hey, why am I yawning so much this morning, man? Whew. Hey, drop a yawn in the chat if I made you yawn. Because yawning is contagious. If I just made you yawn twice, say, damn it, Jay, you got me twice. But anyway, the last, uh, the 2K21 will be one of the best 2Ks once it's a past 2K. That's all I can tell you, man. Like, this is how we go. This is how, this is how we look at things. We always, we are past in retrospect and all of this stuff. But let me tell you something about this 2K. Like, uh, let me let me tell y'all something, man. Because somebody actually stated something down here in the thing. And dude said, he said what I felt like. Look, he said, look smooth, but dribbling, but uh, dribbles weren't effective. And then dude said, you meant ankle breaker, breaker, ankle breakers were balanced. Or uh, there was no crazy speed boost glitch. And then dude said for real, one dude said for real speed boosting is getting annoying. Uh, even when a center with, with a 23 ball handling can do it. Um, let me tell y'all something, bro. In this game, 2K16, yeah, that could happen. Like centers could get the same dribble moves as guards. Like you had, you had centers that were doing the Jamal Crawford size up and the Kobe escape. And the sprint to the side and step back with Curry, uh, the Curry step back and all that and the crossover and all that. Centers was able to do that. Also, there was a crazy speed boost glitch. So it makes me wonder, did these guys even play 16? See, this is what I be talking about. When we live in the past, but you didn't live in the past. Bro, 2K16 had one of the craziest, craziest speed boost glitches ever. Unless that's 15. Well, it looked like 16 to me. But... Sure, I mean, it had one of the craziest speed boost glitches ever. They didn't patch it until like March, and that was like patch six. And then people went into hiding for two or three days to make sure they could still play the game. And then they came back out. Like, shoot, Fredo dropped the video a couple days later and made his new account, 81 shots, and was like, "Yep, I'm still that guy." You know, it is what it is. So, so you know, he dropped, but he definitely didn't drop a video for a couple of days after because he had to go learn and adapt to the new thing. Everybody got to adapt when they change something. That's just how things go. Nobody's gonna be great right off the bat. But the last, two, I mean, y'all, y'all forget that that Jamal Crawford size up would drop you damn near every time until January. Like it took them a long time to fix that as well. To be honest, I played 2K my team until they fixed that. I remember back then, but I had I wasn't doing 2K content then, but I had just started back playing 2K and playing the game because I played, I did not play 15 because I was so upset with, okay, so I played uh, 10, y'all can see it on my channel too. I played 10, I played 11, 
I did not play 12. I played 13. And then after that, I was like, eh, I'm, I'm good. That's when I stopped doing YouTube. I really stopped playing games because I was driving for Uber and stuff like that. So I did not play 13. I did not play 14. I did not play 15. And then I played, I started back playing in 16 because I was like, yeah, I feel like they made, made some good strides on this one here. And uh, on 16, I, I got there and I see people in the park just doing the Jamal Crawford size up and stuff like that. I think I did play 13 because I was doing me versus me. I played all of them, but I, I'm, 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 when I'm saying I didn't play them, I'm saying I ain't play them like hardcore play them. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't play them from, from end to end. That's what I'm saying. I played the game. I just didn't really play them online and stuff like that. But uh, like I said, I see I see you, you would get dropped by the Jamal Crawford size up instantly. It didn't matter what, and then people could just spam it. All, and it was so easy. All you had to do was what was it? Just, just a, it was just a size up. Was it down? Was it the same way that you did the Kobe size? Up? I can't remember. Y'all let me know how you did the Jamal Crawford on that. All I know is people would just sprint up court, stop, do that size up, go this way, cross back over, do the size up again, and just do it until they broke your ankle. And then after that, they were going to the rim. Shake did so many videos on that, like we got to get that out of the game. But see, like I said, people were people were depending on that. Just like Bruce said, a lot of these games, of course, the past 2Ks will always be a better 2K than the current 2K because that is a game that has been patched to the point that it, it is damn near consistent with the uh, with the with the vision of the guys that made the game. So, like 2K20. The way that it is now, bro, yeah, come on, man. We had the spamming of the behind the back. Uh, you know, 2K19, we had pushing. You know, we had so much stuff in both of these games. Uh, with this one, like I said, they're still working on stuff. We had fades into bro in 2K20, when it came out, we had suction screens, we had fades, and we had behind the back, explosive behind the back. And then y'all wanna tell and the curry slide and all that, and y'all wanna tell me that that was just 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 the best game. none of these games are that good when they come out because they haven't seen what people like i i, I understand what, what goes on they think that people are gonna try to play the game straight up people don't play this game straight up bro they're gonna try to find whatever exploit they can to make it as easy as possible for them and they're gonna ride that exploit as long as they possibly can and and like once they do that it's like, all right, cool, you know, I done rolled the exploit. And then, like, people always say, well, we going to adapt. I'll adapt to what, bro, I done played these people again and again after the patch. They can't adapt, man. That's why they were doing the exploit. If you could adapt and you know that change is inevitable, it would be like me saying, well, you know, I, I, I support Windows 95, but when Windows 98 come out, I'm going to adapt. And then, you know, I never, but I'm never looking at nothing, you know, to find out about the next one. And then when it comes out, I'm just still on 95. You know what I'm saying? Trying to do what happened in 95 and, and think that that's going to work for, for 98 or, or or Windows 2000 or or ME, which, which sucked, or, uh, you know, Windows 7 or Windows 8, which sucked, or Windows 10. Like, all of those things, the same base works. So if you're doing things legitimately, yes. But if you're using the exploit, it's not going to carry over. And I think that's why a lot of people just don't like this game, man, because you just can't do it the same things that you that you used to do. I think that, uh, I mean, then, like uh, I think Swante said, the 17 dribbling was better, which it was if you didn't use the hop step. But all people did in 17 was abuse the hop step. That was it. They just uh, 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 hop step, hop step, hop step, hop step, hop step, cross back over, come this way. Kobe escape, hop step, like that's all they did. And you had to actually do the Kobe escape. And that's why people stopped doing it because you had to actually do the actual input. But like I said, man, the last 2K is always the best 2K. But let me know what y'all think had the 2K, which 2K had the best dribbling. Um, Me, I'm not a dribbler, so I can't really weigh in on that, man. Um, I know that 17, like in, in any 2K, I've, I'm ne I've never been some type of dribbler. I've always just dribbled just enough to get to where I need to get to. And I've always just known what moves will get me to where I want to get to. And they're not even exploit moves and nothing like this. It's regular moves. But last but not y'all, so y'all let me know which one y'all think had the best dribbling. Last but not least, go check out this video right here. The link gonna be in the description from your boy Dose Man. He's voicing his opinions about a lot of things in the uh thing. I think y'all are gonna agree with a lot of what he said. I, I agree with a lot of what he said, except for the bill system. I don't want to go back to those past pie chart build systems. I want them to keep it wide open like this where you can choose how to how to how how to how to up your bill. I mean I mean make your own bill. And if people mess up their bills, bro, they just got to deal with that. 
that's what I'm saying. I don't want them to go back to making bills for He wasn't really saying that, but I'm just saying it myself. I don't want them to go back to where we got pie charts and they essentially make your bill for you and stuff like they automatically bake in interior and stuff like that. So, so like your bill is as balanced as it possibly can be. It's just like what Bruce said. I always wanted them to allow us to put the stats exactly where we wanted to. Now, I do think it's OD that you can have a 99 dunk, a, a 90 dunk and a 99 um, three-point shot, and it's not much. You're not giving up too, too much to be able to do that. Um, I guess you gotta give, well, it is kind of balanced because if you got that and that, and then you choose high dribbling, you're gonna have to give up something on your defense and your physicals. I feel like the whole thing is pretty balanced, man. Um, I think the badges are really, because if, if, if they can, if, if the power force didn't get quick first step on Hall of Fame, then I think that would probably balance everything out, to be honest with you, but to me, it's not really a problem because the way that I play the game, I can I can play good defense. So, I mean, it is what it is. But I know everybody is not an elite defender like I am. Uh, so, it, you know, that, that's just how that goes. Um, but to me, I like the challenge of defense. It's like a chess match to me. He's going to do this this time. He's going to do that that time. And it's who can figure out who first uh, shall prevail. The difference is, on offense, you got to score every time. I feel like I got the advantage on defense. I only got to stop you one between one and three times. You got, you. it's 10 possessions. It's really, that's how it is. It's 10 possessions. It's best out of 10. I got to stop you three times. You got to score all 10 times. So let's see who the best. I got, I feel like I got a tremendous advantage on defense. I, I literally only got to stop you between one and three times. So like, you can't figure out how to get a, a few stops. Like sometimes you can't, though. I ain't gonna lie. Like T said, boy, I ain't gonna count. Boy, you got the boy that wanna go to that Risney, but at that point in time, your point guard gotta just say, hey, I got we got we gotta figure out how to get a three. Anyway, man, I done talked too long already, man. Let me know what y'all think 2K had, which one was the best 2K so far, post and pre-patch. Let me know which one y'all think had the best dribbling. Go watch my boy, uh, your boy Dose video, man. He has some very interesting takes and stuff like that. He's just nice, he's just raw with it, man. He just he just gonna tell you how it is, man. He ain't sugarcoating that. And uh, I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Make sure y'all leave a like on that video, too. And watch the whole damn video. Don't go over there and watch a piece of the video and then mess up his, his watch time and stuff. Watch the video. It's a very interesting watch. But anyway, I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Guys, please.